All right, what's good, Raider Nation? Autumn Win 96 here. Uh, the Raiders recently uh, updated their roster. They got the 53-man roster. They made some cuts. Um, they got the practice squad all set up. Um, a couple things are going to be changing in the next couple days, but this is pretty much what the team is going to be looking like. So I thought I'd hop on and make a quick video talking about some surprise players that either didn't make the team, did make the team, talk about the practice squad, and other stuff like that. Before we get into all of that stuff, though, uh, finally, finally something happened, and we now know uh, more about the C.O. Moore situation. C.O. Moore was traded to the Indianapolis Colts for a six-round pick, and um, I really said all I, all I wanted to say in the last video talking about the, the C.O. Moore topic. If you want to find out anything else about it, I highly recommend you watch Raider Central's video. Mikey Raider made a video talking about what happened with C.L. Moore. I don't know the facts. I'm not an insider. I don't know anything. Uh, but Mikey Raider seems to know what he's talking about. So I would highly recommend that you check that video out if you want to know more. Um, I I was a fan of C.L. Moore. I liked him. He had an, a hip injury. There were some problems with the media, not getting along with the coaches. And, and I think all of that stuff mixed together was kind of the demise for C.L. Moore in Oakland. So... He's got a fresh start, and uh, you know, with the Colts, uh, I wish him the best of luck. Uh, he was a, a very passionate player, wore his heart on his sleeve, loved the Raiders fans, loved Raider Nation. So, I don't have too much bad to say about him. I like Seal Moore. I wish him the best of luck. Now, uh, getting on to the 53-man roster, a couple days ago, about two days ago, we released the Raiders released. Uh, you know, statements talking about the players that they waived and the players that they released or were uh, injured, put on injured reserve and stuff. So, as far as the 53-man roster is concerned for the players we waived, I was a little bit surprised about George Atkinson III and Devin Wiley being waived just because I don't know who's going to return kicks. Uh, both of them are waived. I thought at least one of them would stay. I liked I like George Atkinson more. But I did like Devin Wiley, you know, he did he did all right. I'm just a bigger fan of, of George Atkinson because he's running back and he can return kicks. And Devin Wiley was a wide receiver, but we have pretty solid, solid wide receiver depth. So he wasn't a must to keep on the team, but I thought George Atkinson would have been a, a great player to at least keep on the 53-man roster. He's a really good special teams player all around. Um, he makes a lot of plays on special teams, so um, I'm not the biggest fan of him as a running back, but, you know, he's all right. He's decent, and we don't, in my opinion, we don't have that solid number two back. We didn't see a lot of Roy Hallou because he's been hurt, played a little bit in the preseason, not much. Michael Dyer played, you know, quite a bit, but um, at the end, he was way too, so... Michael Dyer and who else? Uh, Shelby Harris. They were both waived. I I'm a big fan of Shelby Harris. We have depth on the defensive line, though. We really do. And um, he was actually put on the practice squad. I'll get to the practice squad in a minute. But um, th those were the players we waived where I felt like uh, maybe we could have kept them. Same with Leon Orr. He's on the defensive line, though. And like I said, there's lots of depth. He's still young. Um Players we released, Chris Durham, the wide receiver, Taylor Mays, who played pretty decent. Uh, Taylor Mays and Chris Durham both had a, a decent preseason. Taylor Mays didn't get to play as much, but, um, yeah, our secondary, you know, is pretty thin, and uh, we let him go. Oh, well. Christian Ponder was released. Um, I agree with that. I think Matt McGloin is the number two quarterback. I don't think we need three quarterbacks. I think Matt McGloin is fine, right behind Derek Carr. I like those two guys a lot. That's fine with me. And then C.J. Wilson was waived. We got a, a lot of young talent, cheaper than C.J. Wilson. Got rid of him, a lot of depth. I like C.J. Wilson, but at the end of the day, he had to go. Uh, we also waived Anthony Morris, the tackle. Drafted him in the seventh round from Tennessee State, I believe. Um, didn't have a good preseason, didn't play good at all. Uh, and then Brandon Ross is hurt, the safety Brandon Ross. So those are the people that we released and had some injury problems. And then now getting into the practice squad, George Atkinson III made the practice squad. I'm fine with that. I like that. 
Uh, Mitch Bell, the offensive lineman from Louisiana Tech, undrafted, rookie. Um, Saquon Edwards, undrafted from New, New Mexico, the cornerback. He played okay, almost had a pick this preseason. Garrett Gilbert, the quarterback from SMU, was drafted by the Rams last year, and then I think he was on the Lions practice squad, but they cut him. Now he's with us, uh, you know, just a, a quarterback, and arm to have on practice squad. I'm not expecting anything from that. Shelby Harris, he's back on the practice squad. I like that a lot. Dan Kissler, offensive tackle, undrafted. Uh, this is his second year. Tevin McDonald, rookie, safety, undrafted from Eastern Washington. Leon Orr made the practice squad. I love Leon Orr. Uh, Josh Shirley, another one I'm, I'm really high on, outside linebacker from UNLV, undrafted. He had, I believe, two sacks this preseason, played very well, um, like him a lot. And then Max Vals, um, our sixth-round pick out of Virginia. Um, so, yeah, that's the practice squad. Um, I'm a, I really, really like the practice squad. A little surprised that Michael Dyer did not make it. It seemed like we chose... Atkinson over Dyer for this because they have him listed at you know at running back. A lot of versatility on here. Some pass rushers, some linemen, some defensive backs, and a quarterback. You know uh, I'm happy with the practice squad. Um, I'm also happy with the the players we cut, players we released. Um, we also picked up two players um, from the waiver wire. We got uh, safety Keenan Lambert from the Seahawks. Uh, he's the half-brother of Cam Chancellor, actually. I know there's a lot of talk about Cam Chancellor getting traded and might be going to the Giants, might be going to another team. Well, we got his half-brother who actually played against the Raiders and had a good game against us, so we got him at safety now. <clears throat> and then today, today is Monday, today we got uh, LeVar Edwards who played for LSU, was drafted in the fifth round by the Tennessee Titans in 2013, went to the Dallas Cowboys in 2014, got cut this preseason, had a good preseason, two sacks. He's a defensive end, you know, pass rusher. We seem to have a lot of those, but now we got another one in him. So, I don't know, it could be like a developmental project. He hasn't done much in the NFL since being drafted. So, um... Overall, that's those are all the moves we made. Um, something I'm happy about, though, is that uh, Danico Autry made the uh, made the 53-man roster. I am really high on Danico Autry. I think it was between him and Shelby Harris uh, as far as who makes the 53-man roster for the defensive line. They were kind of on the edge. It was going to be one of them. I'm glad it was Danico Autry. I love Shelby Harris, but Danico Autry plays the run better. He's big, he's strong, he's fast, he's explosive. Shelby Harris is all of all of those things, but he's more of a finesse pass rusher. Danico Autry can get in there, defend the run really well, and I think that's why he made it over Shelby Harris. Um, but I still think there's a couple more pieces we could pick up from waivers. Uh, I think the cornerback position is thin. Um... We had to put Chimdi Chekwa on the IR, put him on the IR, and that's how we were able to get LeVar Edwards. Chimdi Chekwa is done for the season. So one more cornerback that goes down. I believe we only have five now. Carey, Hayden, um, and I'm drawing a blank on the other ones. Uh, Dexter McDonald and a couple other ones I can't remember who probably aren't going to play but still not looking good at the cornerback position as a whole. I like Carey. I'm not high on Hayden. We all know that. Uh, so I don't know what we're going to do. Could go with the cornerback. I know the Steelers cut Dorn Grant. They drafted him in the fourth round from Ohio State, and then they got rid of him. I don't know how good he is. I know the Broncos got rid of Monte Ball. Could go running back. Maybe offensive lineman. I don't know. We could go a couple different ways. We could get a couple different players. But that, those are my thoughts on the 53-man roster, the players on practice, the practice squad. I like who we kept. I like who we put on the practice squad. No real shocks except for maybe Dyer not making it at all. Anthony Morris, the tackle, didn't make it at all. But, you know, I like the the players we got. Oh, another thing. Gabe Holmes made the 53-man roster, so that means uh, that there are four tight ends on the 53-man roster. Michael Rivera, Lee Smith, Clive Walford, and Gabe Holmes. Now, Gabe, Gabe Holmes will probably make it 
to the practice squad at one point, get cut, and make it to the practice squad. I like Gabe Holmes, um, but that's that's just too many tight ends in my opinion. We don't need four tight ends in the 53-man roster. Um, so yeah, that those are my thoughts on the roster, the practice squad. Uh, on Sunday, I'll be doing a recap of the Bengals Raiders game, the Week One game. So I'll be seeing you guys in a couple days with my thoughts on that game. Tell me down below in the comments what you thought about the players getting released or the players staying, who you want to pick up, who you think we should have gotten rid of, all that good stuff. Uh, like this video, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Autumn196. Thank you guys for watching this. Peace.